Hello, my name is Lev Menovich. I'm a professor of computer science at the Graduate Center at the City University of New York. I also run the lab called Software Studies Initiative. And here at Max, I'm a senior fellow. At Max, I'm putting together the content and editing the text for a new book. Uh, I'm working on with my designers in New York. The book will be called Cultural Analytics and it will bring together over 40 projects we have completed in the lab. The projects deal with analysis and visualization of diverse cultural data sets, for example, you know, 6,000 impressionist paintings, 1 million manga pages, 2.3 million Instagram photos, and so on. To give you a concrete example, one of the data sets we analyzed is uh, over 4,500 covers from Time magazine. Every cover from 1923 until today, we created a large high-res visualization which shows all the covers and small thumb thumbnails organized by date. And you see a number of different patterns in terms of composition, visual communication strategies, content, you know, gender, uh, race, and other aspects of representation you know, from 20s until today in a single image. So for about 20 years, since early 90s, you know, I was focusing on the theory and history of digital culture. You know, published over 100 articles, you know, a few books. And then, uh, in the middle of 2000, I realized that we now have amazing new possibility to study culture because of the explosion of cultural data. You know, MySpace, you know, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. And of course, lots of cultural archives have also been digitized. For example, the other day, Metropolitan Museum of Art announced that over 400 images are now in the public domain. So I decided to use the techniques from digital media art, from scientific visualization and data science, and together with large cultural data sets, to put them together as a way to study culture in new ways. So we've been analyzing different, different culture sets, but to me this is the first stage, because we're collecting data, and once we have enough data, we can move to a second stage, which in fact will be computer simulation of cultural processes. So ideally, I would like to simulate the appearance of every cultural artifact in the world today. And if people want to simulate 100 billion neurons in the human brain, I think simulating human culture should be way, way simpler. For many people, you know, the use of big data in humanities is a way to perhaps answer the questions we already had. There's nothing wrong with this perspective, except it's very boring. I think it's more interesting, more fun, to think about big data as a challenge. So how would you study, you know, 10 billion images people upload on Facebook every month? I mean, how would you study, you know, 300,000 images from a collection of Reich Museum, which are now available online? Can you use the existing concepts you know, style, historical period, artistic schools, or do you need to have completely new concepts? How would you study interactivity? How would you study, for example, a video game? If I'm playing video game for 100 hours, that's already big data. So it's kind of interesting theoretical questions all around us, and I think a way to answer them is to do practical projects and then generalize from these projects interesting answers. In the 20th and 21st century, the use of computers, data, and algorithms have created new important ways to generate knowledge, to create knowledge out of data, and the knowledge itself can be of different kind. For example, it can be probabilistic as opposed to certain. Uh, the humanities and social sciences are typically behind in studying these new phenomena. So the Max, to me, is the most amazing experiment and a very successful one in bringing hundreds of people at different levels of their career from different fields, you know, computer science, architecture, media theory, media history, you know, archaeology, to study one of the most important, if not the most important, new way in how our society creates knowledge, which is computer simulation. Additionally, the place is fun, very welcoming, and surrounded by young people who really understand what's going on. It's the opposite of typical academic cemetery I find in so many other places. I just wish I would stay here for the next 10 years. It's a fantastic place.